Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I routed my intercooler piping and my uh, radiator uh, hose. I guess the radiator hose pretty much speaks for itself, it's right in front of you. Um, they don't make a 1J to IS300 specific swap uh, hose, so uh, I just purchased a twin turbo Supra hose kit off of Amazon. It's like 20 bucks, uh, 24.99 I believe actually, and uh, came with the upper and the lower hose. I didn't use the lower hose. Uh, the lower hose ended up fitting just right without any issues. Lined up perfectly. So I just kept that hose on there. Didn't mess with it. With the upper radiator hose, I just had to shorten both ends for it to fit just right without any kinks or anything, but the bends in it were perfect. They don't crash into anything. It's almost like it was meant to be. And then the rear heater hoses, I just reused the IS and the 1J hose and threw a coupler push fitting in there. I believe it's either three quarter or seven eighths. Just pull a tape measure on the uh, inner diameter uh, to confirm that before you uh, by yours or if yours is long enough mine wasn't long enough my uh, the importer cut it really short or just too short but um if yours is long enough to reach then just leave it attached and plug it right in and that's even easier and then here I just kept the stock lower IS hose and it laid itself out perfectly onto the other end so that was pretty easy. Um, and then while I'm here, I'll show you my oil catch, how I routed it. It's the Mishimoto, double, um, Mishimoto baffled oil cooler. Um, there's an in and out labeled on it. I don't think I can, I don't think I can get the, uh, can't really get it on camera, but anyways, um, coming in, I use the um, valve cover source, and then coming out, hooked up to the nipple on my uh, J-pipe delete. Both hoses ended up being the same size. Uh, I bought six feet of hose. I ended up probably only using about four, four and a half feet maybe. Um, try to keep it as clean as possible. So I put it underneath the fuse and relay box here and it comes out the other side. It's not crushed or anything. It actually fit perfect. So that worked out. Um, it's half inch hose, half inch inner diameter hose, which also fit on the crankcase ventilation. Um, I kept the valve covers still connected in the middle. There's a hose that connects them in the middle. And also this hose on the intake manifold. So with the intercooler piping, first off I had to cap off the flow off valve uh, inlet tube. I'm going to probably replace this with something a little more stout, like a stop plug. Um, but this will probably do for now, just to put it around and get it driving. Uh, capped off the three quarter inch uh, nipple that I didn't need. Um, uh, off the uh, turbo. Is a two and a quarter inch diameter. So I'm running two and a half inch intercooler pipe. So I ran a two and a quarter to two and a half 90 degree reducer to a straight to this U bend, 
which I ended up shortening this end offset from this end to make it fit just right with the uh, Mishimoto intercooler that I purchased. Uh, I also had to notch the frame horn a bit just to get it as close as I could to uh, not run into any fitment issues with the bumper. And then in my previous video, I had my buddy Monia weld this bung onto the U-bend for me. Still need to plumb the vacuum source. And then the Mishimoto. I have these intercooler bracket mock-ups made out of cardboard that I'm going to take to the shop and bend up next time I go to work. And now my intercooler is not upside down. I don't know if you noticed it in the other video. And then on the other side, I have the same U as I used over here, but I ended up also shortening this end. And then I chopped it at the middle so that I could twist it. See how it comes and wraps back up. So that way it goes back up. I was trying to stay uh, off the ground, trying to keep it, keep my clearance, my ground clearance as maximum as possible with uh, what I had to work with. So um, by cutting it in half, I was able to get that twisting effect. Um, so that way I could keep as much of the intercooler piping, um, you know, as high up off the ground as possible. <sighs> and then from there, which you probably can't see, but where this T-bolt clamp is here, um, on the other end of this U, this is a 90 degree uh, coupler that goes back up to a 45 degree that I shortened. I kept, I kept this end uh, at the length that it came in. And then this end I shortened all the way to like here or so. So that way it fit. This was the trickiest part because of the clearance. Um, I'd probably recommend going with a smaller pipe. Because two and a half is like just barely, barely enough clearance. So that's a power steering pulley. It's not touching, so that's good. And then the AC pulley, it's like pretty close, but again, not touching. And then this broken plastic here, see the one at the very bottom? Let me see if I can get my light on it. Down there, and the two on the side there and the one up top here those are these blades that kind of protect the fan and kind of also hold it in place <laughs> um, I still have all the other ones on this side and on the bottom here so um, the fans still structurally sound but I needed to do that so that way um, I could make it fit. There's that 90, as you can see. Um, the fan blade <clears throat> is definitely not gonna hit. So that was the only concern I really had. And then also on the back of the power steering uh, pulley where the, where the bolt, or sorry, where the, the hose goes in uh, there's this sensor underneath it, the hard line. I had to loosen it and then clock it slightly clockwise to allow for more room here. As you can see, it's already kind of touching, so I'm going to have to keep my eye on that. It might rub its way through eventually, but without doing that, I was getting too close here and I was um, 
not able to twist the uh, 45 in the orientation I needed it to fit down at the bottom. So by loosening this bolt here, which I couldn't tell you the size, um, you're just gonna have to get a wrench kit or a big crescent wrench and loosen it up. Um, but by doing that, I was able to move that hard line out of the way, but just keep note that right there, see that bracket that's uh, going towards the back of the pulley there. You gotta make sure if you clock the uh, hard line too far, um, that bracket is gonna crash into the back of your power steering pulley. Um, so the way I have it, it's like maybe a couple millimeters away. So hopefully that doesn't loosen up or anything, but had to do it to make it fit. So um, yeah, that's the intercooler pipe to the intercooler, the J pipe, delete, um, blow off valve cap, the uh, oil cooler, heater hose, and upper and lower radiator hose.